done. I want something now. Let's just pause right here. Oh dear, it seems that complaining is becoming even more frequent in today's consumer marketplace. According to an article by John Thodgerson titled Complaining, a function of attitude, personality and situation, consumers experience dissatisfaction when they encounter a product or service performance below their expectation. Let's see what happens. I want it fun. I want something. I don't know what I want. I just want... Let's just pause right here. Wow, it seems that the consumer doesn't know what he wants. Thodgerson claims that this is because complaining doesn't really happen all that often. Consumer behavior becomes difficult to predict. This means that marketers have to struggle to try and influence and study how complaining is impacted by attitude and personality. So do you complain often? Well, not really. It only depends on something is quite serious or deficient and it depends on the situation and the size of laws. Interesting. Thodgerson suggests that by studying how your complaining is linked to your attitude and personality traits, we can find and learn more about the benefit from this customer interaction. Great. So, why is complaining customers bad for your business? Well, it often means they won't be a repeat customer. They also discourage others from buying. Whether it's bad words of mouth or them making a sense in front of other customers in my shop. Wow, it sounds like complaining is all bad. Well, not really. You say complaining helps us business get verbal feedback to help reduce the issues in the future. Well, it seems complaining is linked to attitude. It's both good and bad, and the issue that Thodgerson raises in his article is that because complaining happens so randomly, it usually means that consumers don't have good experience at complaining. They often have no formed clear attitude about how to behave or act, and they're often uncertain about certain social norms for proper behavior in situations like this. Does this remind you of anyone? I want to fun. I want something. Now, let's break this article's theories about attitude and personality. Thorgerson's study shows that complaining depends on a person's attitude and their personality. An attitude is different to a personality. An attitude is a predisposition to respond in a certain way, whether favourable or unfavourable. A personality is your motivational and emotional qualities that influence what we like and how we act. Our attitude is affected by three things. Affective, cognitive and behavioural factors. Affective is all about your feelings and emotions towards a certain product or brand. Cognitive is about the beliefs you have about those brands and products. And finally, behavioural is your response tendencies. That is how you act and behave towards certain stimulus, products or brands. Together, these three factors influence how we complain. Someone with high emotions and strong behavioural tendencies may look something like this. Whereas a person who is shy or timid and thus has a low behavioural responses will be more reserved, like this. Let's pause. When we relate this theory to Thodgerson's article, we can see how different attitudes will impact on if, when and how we will complain. And just like attitudes, personalities will obviously change too. There is a theory called the five factor model of personality. Let's see examples of each of the five traits in relation to complaining. An extrovert is often outgoing and excited, bold and talkative. This means their complaints will be louder and fast paced. However, agreeableness is about how cooperative they are. People with a high score will likely be cooperative and trusting and will avoid conflict. Openness is about imagination, feelings and ideas. Someone with a low score is practical and prefers routine. They like to have structure when dealing with complaints. Neuroticism is a tendency towards unstable emotions. A person with a high score will be hot-tempered, anxious and unhappy. Conscientiousness is about self-discipline and thoughtfulness. Someone who scores low is impulsive and careless and won't likely get angry or hot-tempered.